two hits, I'm gonna move, buff one, dash cancel, tilt attack, two hits of that, and then finish with the grab, and then that's 10,500 damage gun. They can be a bit finicky, especially with the corner. And there we go, when you use the armored state, the quirk one, you can get an easy 11,000 damage. Which... Into the grab, and then cancel the grab. And then for two dash cancels, you actually get 11,600 damage, which is an important thing. Using his tilt attack, and his quirk 2, quirk 2. There's another really good combo that you can do just off of the air and really And here's his boss ultra 2 if you want to see it. So yeah, overall Kirishima is a really good close ranged character. He has really fun combos and lots of ways to catch the opponent off guard, either by using his hardening state on block or doing some other uh, block pressure with his tilt block 1. But he has really cool combos and good mix ups and he's just a really fun brawler character, you know? There's not too many of um, I think we can go into his combos, which is where Kirishima is actually really fun. When I first started playing with him, it didn't seem like he had any like, really good combo routes. But when you look a little bit deeper than I did, he's actually really fun combo-wise. So, from regular form, a, a bread and butter combo that I usually like doing is two hits into armor move, into tilt work one, dash cancel, hit, uh, nope. Two hits, armor move, work one, dash cancel, tilt attack, two hits of that, and then finish with the grab, and then that's 10,500 damage, guys. That's pretty crazy. For someone that I didn't think that was very combo heavy, especially since the people that online never do combos like this, I didn't think that he had cool combos, but he has really cool combos, guys. So I'll show it again. It's two hits, into armor attack, into tilt work one, attack into armor attack, into tilt work two twice, into two attacks on the ground, and tilt quirk 2 to finish. And that's quite a decent amount of damage. And you can actually extend it a bit more if you want. It can get a bit tricky like this. You can do two hits into armor Oops. Into the grab and then cancel the grab. And then for two dash cancels, you actually get 11,600 damage, which is pretty crazy. It's definitely above average damage. So yeah, two dash cancels, 11,600. That's really great. Um, if you want to, you can. So Kirishima can often get uh, similar if you know his combo routes off of any situation. So if you're in the air, you can do an air attack into, you can get a free combo if you do into armor attack, into his quirk 2, quirk 2, and then you go into his attack, into armor attack again, into his grab, still quirk 2, and then you've gotten 7,500 damage, completely free. And obviously you can throw in a dash cancel to do a bit more damage. Oops, I messed that up, but it would have been about 10,000 damage. Another way he can combo is by using his quirk 1 during his string. So if I go attack, attack, quirk 1, 
attack, attack, and then into a still work one again. Oops, I cancelled a bit early. And I guess while we're in here like this, I'll show a combo when you're in armor state. You have to leave the armored attack out of the of um, this armored attack out of the combo because it doesn't connect when you're in armored state. So yeah, your attack will go like this. Attack, attack, tilt block one. Oh, and actually you leave the um, tilt attack in the air out because he does he finds it hard to connect after that. So two attacks, tilt block one, attack, attack, tilt block one. Oops. That would have worked, but I'm missing some damage there. My bad. So, attack, attack. My bad again. Attack, attack. Tilt work one. Oh, uh, I did the armor attack. Attack, attack. Tilt work one. Dash cancel. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Attack, attack. Oh, damn it. They can be a bit finicky, especially with the corner. And there we go, when you use the armored state, the quirk one, you can get an easy 11,000 damage, which is also really good damage, so you can include your armored state in that way. Um, I guess now that we've done his basic combo, so I'll just do it again just to enforce it. When you're in regular mode, you go into combos using the armor attack into quirk one, and you use your armor attack in the air as well. And you can do that. To do that much damage, or if you want to go into the armor state, you can go attack, attack, and support one. Oops, don't mess it up though. Thanks, wall. And then he gets easy damage that way as well. So he has a few routes that you can do for combos, and the same applies for when you're in the air, just extend it a bit differently, throw in some extra dash cancels, and yeah. Um, Kirishima, you're going to be using his plus ultra quite a bit if you have the meter because if I have Bakugo doing his target combo, you can practically, okay there wasn't a gap in his string, but even if it's the small gaps that you can't sidestep out of, Kirishima can do his plus ultra in the middle because, yeah, because it has his armor on it. So even if you would have normally gotten hit by the attack, he will armor through whatever it is and keep doing his plus ultra one. And so you want to make sure you can get the most out of the plus ultra one so you can actually stand off of it by using battle drop. Oops, you don't mess up. So a lot of the time you're going to get a roll like this. Oops. But you see the point. You can get. You can use Bakugo or Kaminari as well to extend up a bit. Oh man. That does about 12,000 damage though if you do it, do it properly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, 
Yeah, sorry. It, it'll be 12,000 damage, I promise. So you just cancel into whatever combos you do, usually. I have to show it, don't I? So, from whatever it is, plus ultra one, pull up buff go. Oh my god. Okay, I oversimplified it there, but you see, you'll get a lot of damage for free. For just them trying to attack because you couldn't put the plus ultra one through anything. And I'm starting to make this a short one, guys, but that's practically Hiroshima. Um, he's really good on pressure. I'll show you his guard pressure is really great. Because you can just always cancel into his tilt work one. And it does a lot of guard pressure. So you see, now I've already broken his guard with just like one of those. See, the one thing is, does like over half of the guard meter, which is really crazy. But it's also completely safe, so you can just throw it out. No, no thought, no risk because he's totally safe every time he does this. And if it does hit, well then, lucky you. You've just gotten a full combo with Kirishima, because he loves this move, because it extends into combos. And here's his plus ultra 2, if you want to see it. So yeah, overall Kirishima is a really good close ranged character. He has really fun combos and lots of ways to catch the opponent off guard, either by using his hardening state on block or doing some other uh, block pressure with his tilt quirk 1. But he has really cool combos and good mix-ups, and he's just a really fun brawler character, you know? There's not too many of them in the game because a lot of people have projectiles. Um, I just want to show you one more thing of his guard pressure. If you go into this, you almost have guaranteed into this whole situation, even though it's really slow, because if he has armor, there's practically nothing the opponent can do in between this connecting, because if they try and attack, then they're gonna get hit with your attacks, because you, you have, like, Kirishima armor on them. So if you go this, this, the attack, and then attack, attack, into armor move, that instantly breaks their block, and then you can go into whatever combos you like, but yeah, Kirishima is really fun, and you can just really be almost like a boss character with him. Because he's just so crazy. And you can go into that, it's completely safe. You feel like Sonic the Hedgehog doing that. <laughs> and you can get easy confirms and cool confirms. That's the most important thing. Using his tilt attack and his quirk 2, quirk 2. There's another really good combo that you can do just off of the air and it only cost me one dash cancel. But yeah, Kirishima is really fun. I suggest you guys stop sleeping on him and saying that, oh, his armor state's terrible, because you don't have to do it all the time. I almost barely use it except for on block strings or to extend my combos. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kirishima is really fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!